JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, missing Hanover University student found. Missing Hanover student, 27-year-old Charlene Evans, has been found. She was found this afternoon in Hopewell in the parish and has been taken to hospital for medical attention. Evans, a university student, has been missing since Christmas Day. The update was provided by the Jamaica Constabulary Force via its Twitter account. The police also promised to provide more information soon. Police recover 700 cases of liquor stolen from Red Stripe. The police say they have recovered approximately 700 cases of liquor that was stolen from Red Stripe on Sunday, December 26. According to the police, a man has been arrested and a truck seized in relation to the incident. The police have also listed 40-year-old Christopher Rose as a person of interest. Thieves made off with millions of dollars worth of liquor during a robbery at Red Stripe on Spanish Town Road, St. Andrew, on Sunday morning. The police said the incident occurred when a gunman entered the premises and tied up a security guard on duty. Information received is that about 2 a.m., the gunman reportedly managed to get onto the premises, held up a security guard, and tied him up with a piece of telephone cord. The man then reportedly opened the main entrance of the facility and a flatbed truck and another vehicle entered. Senior citizen perishes in St. Elizabeth House fire. A 60-year-old woman was burned to death this morning in her house in Cedar Spring near Magotay in northern St. Elizabeth. Police named her as Edna Wright. She is the third senior citizen to perish in a house fire in recent days in St. Elizabeth following the Christmas Day fire in Newtown near Black River that killed 77-year-old Monica Brown and her common-law husband, Leroy Stewart, who is believed to be in his 60s. In the latest incident, Police reports are that about 12.30 a.m. residents saw fire coming from Wright's house. The fire brigade and police were called to the scene. The police said after the fire was extinguished, Wright's charred remains were found. Two cops arrested for allegedly attempting to rob bar in Kingston. Two members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, reportedly from the Kingston Western Division, were among a group of four men who were arrested for allegedly trying to break into a bar in East Kingston on Wednesday. Reports of the cops were traveling along Windward Road about 3 a.m. when they saw two men standing under a shed. They were accosted and asked why they were on the road. The men told the officers that they were working in St. Thomas and waiting on their boss to pick them up. The cops reportedly also observed a white AD wagon parked in the vicinity of Homestead Road and a great Toyota Wish, which was parked in an open lot with two men in the vehicle who had reclined their seats. When questioned by the officers on patrol, the men in the car identified themselves as cops. The lawmen on patrol reportedly observed that a bar across the road had one of the locks cut off. The grill was also partially cut off. The men were taken to the Elliston Road CIB to be questioned. A gun was retrieved from one of the officers found in the vehicle, and another gun, and 54 rounds were taken from one of the men. Vendor shot dead at home in Westmoreland. A vendor was shot and killed after a gunman invaded his home in Savlamar, Westmoreland, on Tuesday morning. Dead is 58-year-old Michael Wright of Darling Street, Savlamar in the parish. Reports that, that Wright was at home about 4.30 a.m. when gunmen entered and opened gunfire, hitting him several times. Residents who heard the explosions alerted the police. On the arrival, Wright was found in bed suffering from bullet wounds. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigations are ongoing. Man charged for shooting incident in St. Andrew. Following a shooting incident at a wholesale in Nine Miles, Bull Bay, St. Andrew on Sunday, March 27, 2021, one man has been charged with three counts of wounding with intent and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. He's 21-year-old Raheem Whittingham of Julian Road, Waltham Park, Kingston 3. Reports from the Elliston Road Criminal Investigations Branch are that at about 12.15 p.m., Whittingham allegedly went to a wholesale and opened gunfire, injuring three men. The men were treated at hospital for their injuries. Investigations led to Whittingham's apprehension. He was placed on an ID parade on Friday, December 24, during which he was pointed out. He was subsequently charged on Monday, December 27. His court date is being finalized. 13 perishing motor vehicle crashes since Christmas Eve, says RSU. The appeal by the Road Safety Unit, RSU, for Jamaicans to give the gift of safety of the Christmas holidays and beyond appears to have not been heeded sufficiently, as at least 13 people were killed in motor vehicle crashes between Christmas Eve, 
December 24, and Tuesday, December 28. This has pushed the tally through traffic fatalities in 2021 to 473. This is 40 more than the 433 were killed in motor vehicle collisions during 2020. The 473 fatalities are the result of 326 fatal accidents. According to the RSU, fatal crashes and fatalities have both increased by 10% when compared with the similar period in 2020. The RSU is also reporting the following. During curfew hours, 154 people have been killed in 127 fatal crashes since the start of the year. Fatalities during curfew hours account for 33% of the total fatalities this year. Pedestrians account for 20% of the road users killed since the start of the year. Pedal cyclists account for 6%. Private motor vehicle drivers account for 20%. Private motor vehicle passengers account for 13%. And motorcyclists account for 34% of those killed. Overall, the group classified as vulnerable road users, which is made up of pedestrians, pedal cyclists, motorcyclists and plane riders, account for 62% of the road users killed since January 1. Meanwhile, males account for 89% and females account for 11% of the road fatalities. A breakdown by parish shows the following. Westmoreland accounts for 12% of all traffic fatalities. St. Catherine accounts for 18%. Era 1. Trelawney, St. James, Hanover and Westmoreland accounts for 28%. Era 2. Portland, St. Mary and St. Anne accounts for 12%. Era 3. Clarendon, Manchester and St. Elizabeth accounts for 22%. Era 4. St. Andrew Central, St. Andrew South, Kingston Eastern, Kingston Central and Kingston Western accounts for 13%. Era 5. St. Andrew North, St. Catherine North, St. Catherine South and St. Thomas accounts for 24% of the road fatalities since the start of the year. Portmore Community welcomes free Wi-Fi. Newlands Community in Portmore, St. Catherine, has become the first in the area to get free Wi-Fi under the Universal Service Fund, USF initiative, to increase internet service in various communities. Speaking at the launch, Member of Parliament for St. Catherine East Central, Alonda Terrellong, welcomed the $7 million facility as a great tool to further the development of the community, especially education and business. Internet is a universal human right that our children must have, that our communities must have, that all our Jamaicans must have access to, because it is now power, and the pandemic has shown that if children don't have access, we are going to leave them in the dark ages, Terrellong told his audience. While arguing that it is one of the best investments in the constituency, the MP said the system will foster education, commerce and development. And we can live in the future today, he said. Principal of the Newlands Basic School, Angela Dawes, said some children in the area from homes without internet and students on the early childhood to tertiary level will benefit from the service. Businesses in the community will also benefit as they'll be able to advertise their business. The Newlands community is extremely grateful for this internet service during and even after the pandemic, she said. Youth leader in the area, Claudine Duncan, told the ceremony that the Wi-Fi facility is an opportunity to eliminate glitches with online schooling and we're grateful for such a privilege, she said. Meanwhile, Chief Executive Officer of the USF, Daniel Dawes, said over 189 communities across the island will get free Wi-Fi and it is a facility to be used for educational purposes, research and business purposes and I beg of you to report to the USF any issues affecting it. The USF is an agency of the Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology. Jamaica reports 276 new COVID-19 cases, 5 deaths. Jamaica on Tuesday reported 276 new cases of COVID-19 and 5 virus-related deaths. This brings the total number of cases recorded on the island since the start of the pandemic to 93,226 and the death toll to 2,469. Of the newly reported cases, there were 142 females and 134 males with ages ranging from 22 days to 92 years. The cases were recorded in Kingston and St. Andrew 66, St. James 74, St. Anne 39, Hanover 18, Trelawney 18, St. Mary 9, Westmoreland 8, Manchester 5, Clarendon 4, St. Elizabeth 3, Portland 2 and St. Thomas 2. 
Meanwhile, the latest victims include three males, ages 82, 91 and 94, and two females, ages 78 and 87, all from Trelawney. Another death was reported under investigation. The country also recorded 110 new recoveries, bringing the total number of recoveries to 65,442. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.